MKL came out through COVID, so Mark and John both attended site and whilst they were on site they saw an opportunity to integrate some IoT into site along with their energy management system. They explained the, what the benefits could be of that system and I put that forward as an idea for the project moving forward and we got it installed. The nature of our product or services is it's quite a unique offering to the market. We're a digital FM business and what we decided to do when we first set up the company was take traditional electrical engineering but mix into that fantastic IoT technology but underpinned by customer experience. The specifics of our services on this site is energy management systems and IoT sensors. You never get a bill anywhere else in the world where it isn't itemised. So your credit card statement is itemised, your phone bill is itemised but your energy bill is just a lump sum. And when it's just a lump sum, you don't know what to do with that, you don't know where to target. You can't reduce anything, it's just a bill and you pay it. But when you put an energy management system in, what that does is it turns your energy bill into a credit card statement. So it itemises where that energy is going. And why is that important? Well, that's important because then you can target where that energy is going. I can show you how much the site is spending, I can show you how much carbon the site is emitting, but more importantly, I can show you how you can reduce it as well. So now you've had a flavour of what we do, let me take you on the tour of the site and show you some of the technology. So one of the challenges that we have with technology is weather. Weather and technology normally don't mix, especially when it comes to construction sites. So we had to think a little bit smarter around how we were going to make this work. So within this little box here is all our box of tricks. Now in here you have the energy management system. Now what the energy management system is doing, it is taking the data from the distribution boards here and presenting that live to the site team. Now what can they see with that? What they can see is not only how much energy they're using per second, per day, per week, per month, but also how much carbon the site is emitting, but also how much it's costing them as well. Really cool tech. Now as we're going around the site, what we decided to do was to put in a number of IoT sensors. Now the reason why IoT sensors are really important is because they're not intrusive, they stick and they're plug and play. So here we have a very simple temperature and humidity sensor and why that is important is because we can do some real cool things with analytics when we look at how much site energy is being used but also against the weather that's happening at the time as well. So the challenge when it comes to site cabins is you're basically in a metal box. I mean, these things need to be weatherproof. So there's no real opportunity to get data out. It's a real struggle for companies such as ours to be able to not only pull that valuable data out, but to visualize it. So how do you get around that? Well, let me show you how. So dotted around the site, we have a number of cloud connectors. Now what this allows to happen is this will connect to the sensors dotted around the site. It will pull that valuable information out, send it up to the cloud, and then the team can visualize it and make it really engaging for everyone. Now, at MKL Innovation, we love glamorous locations, and nothing screens glamour more than toilets. However, those that look at toilet as not being a case of optimization are looking at it incorrectly. Let me show you something. Now, have you ever been to the services and seen at the back of the services door, you will have a little bit of paper that will say, Brian cleaned the toilet at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, what you might not know about that is those data tags don't take into account of usage. So how do you know that you're sending your contract cleaners to a place where the site has had more traffic or where a site has had less traffic? You really could look at optimising that and the way that we do that is by putting little sensors behind the door here so we know that when the door is closed and when it's open. But don't worry, there's no cameras and no one's watching you do your business. We talked about the hardware outside, we've shown you what that looks like. But for the customer, the main thing that they deal with every day and interact with is the software side. So here is the dashboard that's been created for 
uh, Jeremy and the team at Brewster and Malting House. So this shows the, the carbon that has been used up to today, so it's live, and you can see our carbon widget here. Um, you can see how many trees have been saved since the project started, so 52 trees. Well done, Jeremy, that's, that's quite an achievement. And then here we've got the miles saved. And we've done it this way because it makes a lot more sense to use something that is easily computable in your mind rather than trying to do it just kilowatt hours. It's a lot easier to do it this way, it makes more, much more sense. And then we've got the other dashboard which uh, Jeremy uses behind the scenes. And that's the management dashboard, which gives a lot more information so he can see live what's happening. So you've seen the hardware, you've seen the software, and with our partnership with Weights and the Weights Innovation Network, we're helping Jeremy and the team turn the invisible visible. It's allowed us to see exactly where we're using energy within our site setup, which has enabled us to make some very small changes. However, those changes have resulted in quite significant savings. Carbon's very important to us at Weights. We've got very ambitious targets that we need to hit, and by utilising partners like MKL with installing technology on other sites that we have, that's going to, to help us and be another tool in our toolkit we can use to hit those targets. The benefits of being part of the Weights Innovation Network is the doors that Innovation Network can open. We've been in front of some clients that are well known across the world, well known within the UK, and if it wasn't for the Innovation Network, we just wouldn't be in front of them. Now that's not because we're not credible, it's just because it's hard to get noticed. It's a very busy marketplace, and big organisations like to work with other big organisations. So for small businesses such as ourselves, to have Weights as a big brother in your corner to help you promote your product to that client, is a fantastic place for us to be because we just wouldn't get in front of these clients if it wasn't for the Innovation Network.